Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, have you wondered deeply and reflected on this question, who am I? Yes, who am I? We may have a very simple answer to this question. The name, the name given to us by our parents, the identity, the profession we go by, and even the social status we live in defines who we are. But when we dig deeper and reflect deeper into this question, who am I, the answer gets wider, deeper, and much, much more meaningful in relations to the life we have in this world. In today's gospel, we can see Jesus going to the hills and praying and spending the entire night and then coming and calling out and summoning his disciples. He picked 12 of them, the gospel says. Now this is a very serious action by Jesus Christ. He spent so much of time reflecting on who his followers are going to be. Now, these followers eventually are the apostles who brought about the message of God throughout the world. We are Christians and we are Catholics because these apostles brought the identity of the Christian life. They brought the person of Jesus Christ into our lives. But that is the apostles. But who am I? Now, if we really want to dig deeper into this question of who am I, we need to go into today's first readings. In today's first reading in Ephesians chapter 2, St. Paul says, You are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, a very important acknowledgement of who we are is that we are part of God's household. We are a people who belong to the family of God himself. The reading further goes on to say that you are part of a building that has the apostles and the prophets for its foundation and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all grow into one holy temple in the Lord. And you too in him are being built into a house where God lives in the spirit. So brothers and sisters, this reading seems to tell us that we are a special people. Now each one of us, though it was the apostles who were called by Jesus after his prayer, are rooted in this calling of the apostles. From them, we have come to believe in Jesus Christ and we have become part of the household of Jesus Christ. So we are one family. Now this one family, being a people of the household of God himself, gives us four important things to think about. How do we behave in this world? How do we conduct ourselves in this world? Now these four important things we have to look for is our body, our mind, our soul, and our relationships. Now being part of God's household, we are not to behave and act and be like any ordinary people. We are from a royal household. We are from a divine household. We are from a, a people who are part of the kingdom of God himself. Now let us first take a look at each one of these. First, the body. The body is said to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. So how well do we take care of our own bodies to be spotless and to be healthy and to be portraying a body which is worthy enough to be called the temple of the Holy Spirit. Number two, the mind. The mind is supposed to be part of the mind of the household of God himself. Now, do we grow our mind? Do we grow in wisdom? Growth in wisdom comes from being rooted and being accepting the Holy Spirit in our lives, being teachable by the Holy Spirit and being taught and instructed by the Holy Spirit to grow in wisdom and to grow in the ways we are supposed to conduct ourselves in this life here on earth. Number three, our soul, our spiritual connection with God. Now, do we fall into sin 
Or do we put God as the centre of our lives? When we put God as the centre of our life, the head of the household, yes, the cornerstone, Jesus himself, the cornerstone of our household, of our life, then our spiritual connection gets stronger and stronger and stronger with the Trinity, with the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And finally, our relationships. What are our relationships based on? If Jesus Christ is the cornerstone, if we are the household of people, now this family of God has a relationship of love. It's a relationship based on love. Now, how do we have our relationships with the rest of the world? Everyone with whom, whom we deal with, our family members, people at our workplace and people in society. Is it based on love? Is it based on the kind of sacrificial love which Jesus Christ taught us? Now, dear brothers and sisters, body, mind, soul and relationships, we are called to transform ourselves because we have a special identity. We are a people of God's household. We are a people built into the house where God lives in the spirit. And we are a special group of people called by Jesus himself into baptism. He chose us, not us. So let us live up to this identity of being a special people of God's household. Thank you and God bless you.